Happy Monday, everybody. What's up? It's been a minute. Glennie Reed here from Hawaii Trading Academy. Coming to you live with another weekly watch list. Man, the markets have been active in this first month of the 2022, especially with January. Lots of volatility. Market tanked, or not tanked, but it, it did a nice correction drop. Um, a good amount of percentage, but you know we'll see how this week of trading shapes up especially in the indice side even in the forex side lots of different moves lots of different opportunities out there so let's jump right in and to to see what we're looking at let me go share my screen make sure it's focused man okay let's jump to the future side the s p 500 <clears throat> Got this daily chart peaked at 4808. That was an all time high in the recent, in the very beginning of this month. And January has just been a bearish, bearish price action. We dropped 600 points almost from the recent highs. Price consolidated. This is, this is what I like to see here with this market. Zooming into a four hour chart, um, did the initial drop, pulled back, and then we dropped some more. Now, price has just been very choppy, and this is a very um, let me draw a box here not, not so favorable place to make any trades. Okay, um, so I stayed out of this section for a good few weeks, I got knocked out. Um, now, it's looking like it's breaking out of this range and starting to creep its way back up we'll see how this price action goes here um it's definitely not making any newer low, lower lows so it's making higher highs higher lows and higher highs so that is an indication of price moving up to the upside let's look at the nasdaq it's going to be similar price action here nasdaq represents the tech stocks in the u.s and on where did it go at the end of the trading day on monday today price was making a new high so like i said it's look it's shaping up where price may be looking to go bullish here it's making a higher high higher low higher high i'm anticipating a higher low and then up it goes so that might be a good indication of it breaking out of its range and taking in some positions guys let's look at gold last week i was in a gold trade i think and i had a short stop here it was making up is making this nice way up price action it hit 1853 something happened big sell off knocked everybody out so i am out of this trade um let's look at what is the other one yeah, let's look at Bitcoin. What's happening with Bitcoin? Let me zoom out to the daily. Daily price action. So, we have reached the low of 32,800. Price is roaming around 38,000. It's too it's not of a significant enough move where price is gonna refer like strong a sh showing strong bear uh, bullish momentum or bullish strength you know so overall it's still in a bear trend or or shorting and we'll see how that goes let's jump to the forex side some of the forex trades that i got going on here um let's start with the euro usd i opened this one up recently because we have made a new low broke the previous range here but price is pulling back I've taken account for this pullback so I'm currently still in this trade and slightly in the red I'll be watching that one pound Kiwi as a nice one I've been riding for some time now when did I get in the 20th I think I got in earlier but it's been a nice uptrend you know it's just riding that thing so at this point Managing my risk, uh, just moving up my stops, and then eventually this trade will be risk-free out of all of my positions, and 
we'll just let the trend go. NZD CAD, this thing I've been riding as well for quite a time. I have my last position. I've opened up, I just opened that one on the 18th back here. I've entered this trade probably on the 6th or 7th. Riding How that many trades have you placed on this one? I think three or four positions overall. So the last position I've had since the 18th. So that would be over here. Um, it's, still, it's still making its way down. So all I'm moving here, um, it's a risk-free trade. Just letting it go. Um, and riding the trend. Let's see. Pound, USD Yen. That one's been cool for me. It was. I think I was able to... I had a first position. I opened up on the 25th. Going long. Uh, I caught this swing move up here, exited out, and before you know it, price did come back down. I did. They still have one more position here, holding it long. I'm anticipating to break a new high. Um, odd kiwi is the other one. Where am I? That? I oh no, that's not it. No, I am not in this position. Sorry about that. Pound Kiwi. As far as that, I think that's it. Pound Kiwi, Euro USD, NZD CAD, and the Forex side. Um, other than that, I mean, lots of different things look like it's it's shaping up. Just gotta wait for it and then enter in. I got enough open trades running, so I'm just gonna let these trades ride out, man. Not be too aggressive on jumping on the next thing, cause that will ruin my open profit so up to you back to you Reed right thanks for the market weather report bro yeah. here we go so I am currently taking a look at odd USD long I like this rejection here if you don't uh, don't follow us on Instagram or the socials you should definitely check it out I break down why I didn't enter this position at the market and why I choose to do entry orders so uh, feel free to head over. But moving on, I like this bull pullback. We'll see what happens. Euro pound. I was in this trade short last week. Closed for profit. Looks like it's also rebounding to a long position. Couldn't break below. This is the daily we're looking at. Couldn't break below this low right here at 0.83163. So that looks like it's solid pullback. I mean, um, bold change, but for me, I still want to see a little bit more bullish momentum. I actually like it. Um, entry order around that area. Moving on to Euro USD, Euro USD FOMC, which is the interest rates. Drop this out of this descending channel. Beautiful breakdown of the trade. I was able to get out of this one for profit i am not looking to enter this market anytime soon it looks like it might just be a pullback maybe provide another entry short but we'll see about that pound dollar also looking for shorts on this one i was uh i shorted the market earlier january on 19th uh, if we pay attention to the watch list that we put out this was on the watch so this short did work out successfully However, it's doing a little pullback, so I'm looking for another short entry here. Something a lot, well, sink it, make it a little better, clear for myself. So it is above the EMAs. I'm just going to be waiting patiently. Moving on to dollar CAD. Dollar CAD, it's a little messy in my opinion. Uh, I like dollar pairs, all three dollar Swiss, dollar CAD, and dollar yen. Uh, this is just, I flagged it. Am I looking for an active entry? Not currently, but it is just something that will be on my watch list throughout the week as it is showing some movement. That's why I'm going to be watching it. Dollar Swiss. Now, Dollar Swiss is a position that I am looking to actually enter short. I like the this bearish pullback, this doji here after this bullish run. A doji to close the week followed by a bear 
engulfing candle closing at the start of the week. And now it's just continuing to drop. Uh, I am noticing that volume is low though. So I want to take this move with a little bit of green assault, a little caution here. And finally, dollar yen, like I said, $3 pairs. I, I like, I just like the market movement. I know Glenn just mentioned he's long, but I'm seeing a little triple top here and didn't create a higher high. Um, it could just be in a corrective area, corrective zone. So, so I'm just drawing an ascending pattern here. So it, look like, it looks like it could just come back up, hit this target here, maybe make a higher high, maybe do a double top or continue down here and then go up. So right now it's kind of in indisputed territory. I am waiting. That's why it's not even flagged, but I do like, I just like the dollar pair, how it's moving. So I'm going to actually flag dollar U odd USD. So these are my pairs right here. If you could see it, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, six ish pairs. I say ish because as I mentioned, I think it was dollar cat. I'm not actively looking for a position to enter right now. Um, lastly, Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin is making a little run up. So that's awesome to see. But again, volume is not too high here. So although the bulls are trying to go up, the volume is quite low as far as uh, Bitcoin goes. Um, other than that, I'm not really focused focusing on anything else. I'm letting the stocks. Oh, yeah, let's cover stocks real quick. S&P 500. S and P 500. I did enter long on this position. Um, after I, I like how it closed yesterday, bullish, and then it closed again, bullish today, January 31st. We'll see what February has in store for us. It could be continuing its gigantic bull run. And by gigantic, I mean years and years and years worth of bull run. So 2017 and beyond, you know, um, other than that, and that's pandemic here. It's March 2020. So that's what I like. That's what I'm seeing right now. As far as stocks goes, Forex is my main focus this week. And that's, that's it, man. That's all I got. Awesome. Awesome. Um, speaking of which I wanted to just look up real quick. If there's any upcoming events for this trading week, uh, good, good call that yeah. will maybe reflect the markets but so far right now we have our initial jobless claims on thursday oh no 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 that passed already let's see this week can you show your screen should i show what uh, you're looking at <clears throat> so i pulled this up on the forex.com they have a economic calendar this is also displayed if you have thinkorswim you have access to these different types of events on what's happening so that this was last week um so let's look if there's anything sorry about that so next week we're gonna have we're gonna have Goods and services, jobless claims on Thursday. I think there was a Fed balance sheet, I believe. Um, or here, on the Friday the 11th. So, consumer price index. I'm hearing so. how that's not a high impact news. It's just like a okay news. Yeah, it's yeah medium. Medium. medium so. I mean, I feel like that's going to be create a lot of volatility. So, again... That's another thing we w would like to, I would like to point out is even though it's medium, even some low reports that come out can affect the market heavily uh, on average, on average, it'll be like, okay, this is just a low announcement. Nothing really happens, but there's, there's always those, you know, black swan events where like a low news event could cause crazy volatility in the market and a high volatility news announcement doesn't do anything to the market. So always take fundamentals which is which are news and out announcements with a grain of salt as far as like that's how glenn and i trade we trade price action that's why we like breaking down these charts so just keep that in mind traders because they're watching that 
Yes, sir. And if you haven't taken advantage of our free trial to our Traders Lab, guys, please do so. We loading that suck up with content. We have di dissecting trades that we've taken or we're currently taking, showing you, we're peeling back the curtains for you guys and you guys get to see how we trade. So definitely take advantage of that. If you haven't yet, DM us, email us how to get in. It's part of our free Mighty Networks uh, community, but we put in another more secluded group where you have access to this. It's called the Traders Lab. Um, love for you guys to join. We already got some members in there just just learning as we go. So um, that's something to get kickstarted. We're going to end that free trial in March, I believe. Right, Reed? Yes. So, yeah. so yeah, stay tuned. I mean, dude, it's February already. <laughs> February. Oh, wow, yeah. So the question is, Arlie. how has your January went, right? And has it been a productive one? Has it been that one step towards your goals? So on that note, guys, thank you for watching our Trading Weekly watch list. Stay tuned. We have Trading Topic Tuesday tomorrow. Tuesday. Trading oh, Topic what's Tuesday. What's the topic, bro? What's the topic? Bro, we, we, we touching the crypto space. Watch out. Yeah. We're going to be Starting talking about all month. crypto. Yes, it's going to be month. Crypto Week. Watch out. That, that might be a new holiday, huh? Yeah. <laughs> But other than that, guys, have a great trading week. We'll see you guys.